it's really disconcerting. It's worrisome. And, and it's not just about me. One transgender candidate in southeastern Manitoba is now speaking out after his election signs have been damaged, stolen, and even vandalized with transphobic slurs. Trevor Kirchenau is the Liberal candidate running in the riding of Provence, which includes the areas of Steinbach and La Brocherie, an hour east of Winnipeg. He says almost every sign he puts up disappears, but it's now recent actions that is causing Kirchenau to speak out. I started getting messages from supporters who were finding stickers that had been put across uh, my signs and the stickers had a, a transphobic slur on them. Kirchino ran in 2019 in the same riding. He says he never received any vandalism or hate in that election, but this time around, it's different. It made me really upset to, to think about how this affected other folks in the LGBTQ2S community and their family members and friends who were finding these stickers. Kirchino says he estimates over 100 signs have been stolen or damaged. He took to social media to share his story and has received a lot of support. Political analyst Karim Bulo says this all comes down to leadership. If we've watched the, the rhetoric over the last few months, if we've watched the three debates so far, we see that there's not a lot of respect being shown the other, the other leaders. This campaign has been marred by angry protesters confronting Liberal Party leader Justin Trudeau at this campaign event in London, Ontario. Some threw rocks at him. Bulo says the violence and tension we have seen so far in this election will stay going forward, but doesn't believe it will get worse. When you know threatening physical violence and and making people and their families feel very uncomfortable simply because of who they are, I, I hate the cliche, but that's not very Canadian. You know, it's a slippery slope. You know, once one person sets the bar a little lower, uh, the next person feels they can go even lower than that. And I think that's the danger, which is why it has to be nipped in the bud right away. Kirchner has called other candidates in his riding to stand with him in condemning the violence. We reached out to current conservative incumbent Ted Falk, but didn't receive a reply in time for broadcast deadline. Kirchner says it's important to talk about these issues, but is also focusing on his campaign. I want people to know that that I am a whole person. <laughs> yes, I am openly transgender, and I'm okay with talking about that, but but. There's a lot more to my life and to my candidacy than just my gender identity. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa, City News. Next.